Hello, Saj. Oh my God, finally. Can you believe it? I have not posted a single Sagittarius reading in the month of January. Like, I know. I know. For those who missed the memo, I just recently bought a house last month and I'm in the middle of a huge, huge renovation. It's been super busy with the planning and just doing a lot of work. So I haven't been able to find all the time that I wanted to dedicate myself for the readings, but I'm sure that after this month, it will be a little bit better. All right, so mind you, this is my life right now and it's been, it's been really a roller coaster. Anyway, we're going to check in with you for the he said, she said game and see what is going on in your love life or relationship department. And there will be an extended reading at the end of this video on my website, thelistilluminator.com. And your purchases will be a great support in this heavy, heavy times. Okay, thank you. I will be also getting on a live or a bonus for you all because you guys are my, um, you know, you guys are the most important ones for me, obviously. Don't tell the other signs. And if any cross watcher is watching, they'll be like, what? Yeah. Anyway, it is the eight of pentacles in your current situation. So that is a good start. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. We've got the queen of wands and the sun card. So whether it is, this is in your personal life or in your relationship department, you're really putting in the work. I really see you being like everywhere, doing everything you can, very dedicated, and you're seeing a very bright future for yourself. I feel like you're finally coming into a state of happiness, uh, feeling abundant, feeling courage, courageous, as well as, you know, bold enough to get all the work done. All right. I really really see myself in this energy so it's the first time that I can um, immediately resonate with this energy but yes doing everything that you can being detail oriented being uh, really on top of your things and your business and really seeing a positive return of all your hard work so this is really really good you're really working towards something that is going to give you long-term happiness, fulfillment, and joy. This could also definitely be indicating your relationship, you putting in the work, feeling very attracted. Uh, the, the person that you're dealing with is also very attracted to you, and you're just about to enter a state of happiness and fulfillment with the person that is on your mind. So talking about that, let's see. Please, please. Okay, thank God. Oh. What is going on for the person on your mind? The Seven of Swords. Mm. Okay. What they're sneaking about. Oh, okay. Not that bad. The Emperor and the King of Cups. This person has a huge plan for, for their future or for you. This is an entrepreneur, someone that truly takes on the work as well. Uh, they, they are planning something. I, I'm seeing them really strategizing something. It's, it's, it feels like Scorpio energy. So if you have Scorpio placement, you may want to watch that as well. But the, yeah, because the Queen of Wands and the King of Cups were definitely very... Anyway... They showed up in that reading. I see that this person is planning on a lot of things and they're not telling you all that it, there is to know. Whether that is good or bad, I don't know, but their intention is to bring more stability into this relationship. I do see them having a lot of emotions for you, a lot of feelings. This may not always be someone that is revealing all these feelings with this emperor. They keep their feelings in check, in control. They don't always like open up, but you can feel and sense in their behavior and their actions that they care for you and that they love you. However, they may not always be very vocal about it. Definitely with that seven of swords. In the extended, I will definitely go deeper into the issue with the Seven of Swords, see if there is anything that you need to be aware about. But so far, they come off quite serious in their game. What is coming in for you? 
What is coming in for Sagittarius? Oh, nice. Ace of Cups, but the Eight of Swords. And the Page of Pentacles. So some of you are a little bit doubtful. It could be that this is a new connection or a reconnection of love. And you may feel like it's, it's like going forward with baby steps. That's what I'm getting through. And this might be something that still confuses you or brings some type of a stuck energy or you're contemplating or you're over contemplating about things. And I feel like you're, you may be feeling like this, what this person is offering you is quite little. That, that's one thing. For others of you, I feel like you want to embark on a new journey. It could be a spiritual journey or something financial that is going to bring you some more resources or income. And you're confused whether you should take this opportunity or not. However, I do see that whatever this opportunity is that comes in, it is an offer of love. But that could actually indicate that it is something that you love doing. So there is a proposal that, it, that is coming in that is only going to be questioning you you in your head whether you're capable of doing this financially because when it comes to the heart space your heart says like a big yes to it but when it comes to uh, finances and you know the future you might feel like it's yeah it doesn't have too much ground but the page of pentacles is an energy of growth and it also feels like you're stepping into the right direction here Definitely will check in with that Eight of Swords in the extended. Let's see. What else? Okay. What is coming in for your person? Their actions, behaviors, what we need to know, please. Also the Eight of Swords. You both are really in your head about something in your head about the next step and the next um, opportunity for you for both of you there are definitely some question marks here page wow look at that you both are stressing about the same thing you see that both of you have the page of pentacles and the eight of swords stressing about how to to achieve something uh, finances could be a stress point and i did see the ten of cups while I was shuffling before. So you both are just trying to find or seek ways to bring harmony into this relationship or to reunite is what I'm seeing. They do have this reunion in their future space. They hold that as a space. And I feel like they really want to kind of like be alone with you or to enjoy life. Um, this person definitely feels in love with you is what I'm seeing here. Children might be at play here. Um, both of you might be worried if you have children about how to how to bring this connection together as both of you may have children from different marriages. If it's not a child, it's more about like how to put the groundwork for the future and to stabilize this relationship as it's just like a blooming connection, right? Two pages is a blooming connection here. What is your blockage? What's the challenge for Sagittarius, please? Too many cards. The Ace of Pentacles wanted to show itself, but we're going to reshuffle. You may feel like this person is so now and then very cold and detached from their emotions that they don't always reveal what they are doing and where they are or they try to keep things quiet in control. You may sometimes feel that they do this on purpose to get you chastened. Um, these are things that you are considering as a blockage right now. Also, we do have the Knight of Pentacles reverse, so you may feel like there is not always the progress that you like to see. Uh, you may feel like this person is not taking, is, is, is taking too slow approach when it comes to being open and honest with you. 
right? Like things are flowing, but they're not really open conversations. Or you may feel like this person is lacking being much more direct with you, as if they are still hiding something, right? Like they dibble and dabble around issues sometimes, okay? That's what I'm getting. Uh, the other thing that could be forming a blockage for you is that, you know what? No, that's about it. I think that's enough. Enough, enough, enough. Also, I'm seeing that some of you are over worrying yourself, thinking that things are not moving forward there with the Knight of Pentacles. Could be in practical sense. <clears throat> However, I do see with the, with the sun and the queen of wands, like things are going to get better. It's like the most positive card in the deck and you're working on it. You're working for a bright future and that's what is being granted for you. However, when you analyze your situation, but you're analyzing from this block perspective, you may feel like things are not moving forward. You may feel like with this King of Swords, you're not seeing things clearly or that you're not reaching the goals that you want. However, I do see you reaching them. It's just like a block mentality right now, needing to get out of a stressful, overthinking energy. Hmm, okay. So in the blockage, we have the Five of Swords reversed with the Four of Cups. This could be someone that is avoiding conflict and that could cause for an issue later on. This is someone that does not really open up. You are right about that. They avoid getting into an argument with you or to be more straight up with you because they don't, they, they're not interested or they don't like to entertain or be in a conflicting situation. They don't want to lose as well. They may have some fears of losing. I don't know what it is, man. Yeah, 801. See, they don't want to be in, they don't want to cause any drama or conflict. And, and that's why they hold themselves back. They reject telling you how they, how they feel. If there is a disagreement, they, they rather don't talk about it. If they feel like you should do something different, they rather just like find different ways to say it. And that could cause for an issue, right? Like instead of like saying it directly into your face, they would take an example and talk about a friend that did that just to give you some type of a sign or you know, hint. And you may not like these hint type of conversations is what I'm getting. For others of you, this person may also be losing some friends or people that they trusted in and they're dealing with some type of rejection within that, but they are not telling you. So they are having some type of... Um, conflict in their life that they do not want you to know about and I feel like with the seven of swords this is something that they should tell you it's not that it's not a, none of your business they they are actually supposed to tell you about it is what I'm getting if that is the case your intentions we've got the two of cups we have the knight of wands and we have the two of wands I mean, that says it all, right? You really love this person. This is your spiritual connection, um, your soulmate or someone that you feel emotionally very tied up to. You want to, I'm seeing you really pushing a lot of things aside to get this reunion um, coming. The Knight of Wands is you putting in the action, um, working towards this connection to be reunited and making also the proper decisions to make this happen or to realize this connection. So I'm seeing you really being motivated, being attracted to this person. Maybe you are rushing when it comes to making decisions and you may need to take it a little bit slow. Uh, you want to reunite with them ASAP. You want to see them, you want to feel them, you want to be next to them really ASAP. And you might be doing, like, you might be going too fast, is what I'm seeing. Like, this feels like 
it's better, <laughs> it better can happen yesterday than today type of energy. In their intentions, I love that. Look at that Queen of Pentacles coming through. Yeah, see, I see the Seven of Pentacles here. And the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, wow, that is really nice. This person is absolutely very serious. Serious about you. They care about you. They see you also working hard, having, um, taking care of yourself, taking care of the home life. They also are the same, all right? They have a lot of Earth in their chart, so they might be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. This is someone that is really wanted to play plant the seeds when it comes to you and the relationship. They see you as valuable. Um, they're definitely holding very tightly on you or onto you. And with the Four of Pentacles, this person may also be kind of like saving money or doing things or putting their money into investments that could play out for a lot of abundance in the future. That's what I'm seeing. This is someone that is highly serious in regards to life, in regards to this relationship and their financial resources. And with, with that, I feel like, because I don't see you really being as mo uh, focused on that, but you are more focused on a lot of different things, right? Eight of Pentacles has like all the arms, so I feel like you're really more focused on creating more harmony and balance as well as happiness and positivity in your life or you are the entrepreneur and this person is more of a, the financial director or something. So I do see you both being very balanced within your energies. And also I feel like they, they really feel like you are worth it, like you are worth whatever they're doing in life that could provide you from stability Okay, so I see a lot of good things here, Sagittarius. Finally, really. Let's see what the outside influences are, and then we're going to check in with their feelings and actions, behaviors, and advice in the extended, okay? And again, you can find all the information in the description below as well as the jewelries, the oils, or to book any type of reading with me. I also now offer like 10 minutes quick readings for those who have like a question in your mind that you want to have like a quick answer to. All right, we've got the Three of Pentacles, the Tower, the Ten of Pentacles, and the World card. This is, this is like piece of cake, is what I'm seeing here. Whatever life throws at you, Sagittarius, with that tower, whatever that unexpected shift is, or that crumbling of some type of stability in your life, you got everything in control. And you're working very well together with your uh, spouse or your connection or your, your soulmate, whomever this person is. There is definitely a lot of loyalty, a lot of trust, and a lot of rebuilding energies here. And with the world card, it feels like you both will be able to overcome everything. You both are able to push through any type of mountains and accomplish any type of tower that comes at you, both of, both of you. So yeah, you might definitely experience some type of a huge shift, a transition, some type of a downfall or a collapse in your life. And again, it does not feel that that bad, right? Uh, before I even started with all the readings today, I just felt like I, I was feeling the tower energy, but in a good way, you know, when, when everything needs to be destructed and rebuilt, uh, it's very unexpected, it takes a lot of energy, it's very dynamic, and it can bring a lot of stress, right, still, but it's still for a good cause, and it's still with a good ending. So towers are not always bad, and I feel like with this relationship partner, you're going to realize that towers are not bad if you're able to work together to overcome that. And that is a great lesson that Saturn will teach you or both of you for the upcoming 10 years. <clears throat> this feels like a connection that will definitely go into the distance of 10 years. That's what I'm getting. Which will have like a lot of material abundance to it. But in order to get or to 
achieve that abundance, some things may need to really shift and change and some towers may need to fall for, for this Ten of Pentacles to be accomplished. How about them? The Fool. So they may need to take a risk and seeing that Pentacles type of energy if they have heavy earth in their chart, they may be very reluctant to take a risk. And this is something that they are still struggling with, but they are ready for, yeah, they're definitely going to do it. See, I told you they are a little bit hesitant, right? Two of Pentacles is like, but if I take that risk, what if this happens? If I take that risk, what if this happens? What if we fall out of love? What if we don't have enough money? What if, what if, what if, right? The coulda, woulda, shittas. However, this person has put their, put something on their mind. Um, this is someone that has thought things through. I'm also seeing that someone in their environment could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius that is giving them advice, but also giving them ideas to get some type of a ball going or rolling. So they are getting some type of huge advice which is very beneficial for for the both of you as well for this relationship and with the ace of wands this is an idea that is being communicated communicated or advised by some type of a legal advisor and it could be something that has to do with creativity so because they are a little bit doubtful about this risk this person of yours is asking someone that has more knowledge for advice and the advisor is advising them for just go for it just do it it will be fine so that is super super detailed i hope that is giving you all a very accurate information let's see one last card and then we're going to be going into the extended I will definitely check in with that seven of swords, see what they are hiding. If it's more than just a uh, planning of a surprise or if it has something that you need to be aware about. The dragonfly, lighthearted and adept, finding out and change, things coming to light and heal. I think that I said that with that five of swords, like there is some type of a conflict that they are avoiding and eventually it will come to light. It doesn't feel bad, but it does feel like this person has been having like a broken heart about it. Um, so yeah, things are going to come to light. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I will be checking in with you on the bonus reading because you guys deserve that. You haven't gotten uh, a second reading of all the signs and you guys are my biggest supporters. So yes, I will be going live for that. And if you are interested, I will be continuing on the extended. The link is in the description box below as well as on the illustruminator.com. Just tap on to the extended readings and I'll catch you soon. Take care.